Yeah, it's too cold outside right now, but um, I just got this uh, motor right here. Okay, this is the MS20 right here. A uh, couple of, uh, months ago, I restored this thing a little bit, trying to do the tank. Try I spray painted and stuff and do some work on it. I got I have a spray paint this down. And I, have, get, I got the carburetor done a little bit right now, but got to turn some lights on. Oops. So I got this ready and stuff. I got the carburetor ready. So I'm gonna get some decals and put the decals right here and plan to put this cover back on and spray paint it uh, silver. What's it, what color it is? Let me think of the color. But once I get it going, get it running, this is where the paint is. Okay. It's right. Oh, this must be the paint. Uh, let's see, this must be the primer. The paint is right here. And I gotta get it going. This is the MS20, anyways. The latest project I have right now is working on this motor bolt and get this going. And another project I have to work on is my um, Johnson 200. Uh, I gotta get uh, some parts for this one from 20C outboard. I got a new compression tester anyways. This is my lawn boys and stuff. The parts, I got parts to sell. I really want to start my own big I want to get the webpage. I got some parts right here. Screws, I have to look for screws. And I got parts for lawn boys. Also I got floats. That's a good floor. I should use that one. If it's good, it looks pretty good. It might, yeah. Something's greasy on my hand. So I can always do that. Parts. Parts. Spark plugs. I'm looking for like a, um, to sell some stuff. Spark plugs. This motor have a, uh, a JJ spark plug and it's really cool spark plug. There's a spark plug. Where it said, let's see. Okay, let me try it. Uh, there is a J, J, can't really see it. But it's a J, J spark plug. Put it back. Let's see, I got it. No, wait a minute, I'll pause again. The spark plug, and you just hear this thing uh, turn over. It's got some good compression. So watch this. Okay, I gotta get it. You see that? Spark anyways. Okay. Yeah, it's got spark. Here's the, um, it's me in Milwaukee. It's me in the USA. Serial number, serial numbers down there. Where's the serial? Serial numbers right there. The serial number is on the block, but this has got a different block in it because it was overhaul, new piston rings, new everything. Last week, I have this uh, 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 compression tester right here. It, is, uh, it was working okay, but then let's see what's going on. I don't know, but it's not working anymore. So I got a new one anyways. The new one's really cool. I got it in the basement. I bring it up in the garage sometime. But it's all my tools in here. Uh, tools, my grinder, battery charger, part for the Johns, and this is a part of the tube on there. Well, actually, this thing does work anyways. Okay, you got uh, um, you got this one. Is the, the peller is actually a water pump and stuff that forces the water up to the engine. There's a, uh, there's a, it's not the pump, but there's a on the other side of the motor. I can show you sometime it works, but this is okay. It's on the other side of the motor. I can't really see it, but it, there's a prop. All the motors. I think I have to charge those things up to those older ones. This really small one right here is really cool. But that's the Alto uh, Neptune Alto Johnson 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 Johnson. Everyone. And the Volvo. The Volvo is really cool. So I have to turn the lights off and go inside. Ugh. I'm watching TV. 
cold outside. John's name is 20 anyways. And now I got some time to work on. Here's the original uh, gas cap for it. And it's, kind of, it's going together pretty good. I got to sand down the, the cover on here, but I got that in the shed anyways. But it's in the, the part of this video and stuff I'm showing you, uh, I forgot to mention this is Johnson MS 20, 1941, and I'm trying to get it done. So I mentioned a couple videos of this in the past. I think I was every call, I have to see what it's called exactly. But I have a video on YouTube on this motor, and this Johnson, I said Johnson MS 20. Uh, something like that. I don't remember exactly, but so Okay, how this motor exactly runs and stuff. There's a um, uh, Here's a carburetor for it There's an air intake right there for slow fast The bolts and screws and stuff for it and I make a gasket. Okay, here's the gasket I made for it. I have to be really careful so I don't break it so I got the to the air intake right probably right there let's see how it goes on i'll figure out how it works so got the carburetor be careful i don't drop it i put it right here on the side let's see it goes like that there's the air intake on top and the screw on the bottom let's see and okay here's the um the Johnson carburetor for it. So you got the fast needle valve. First you, when you get it going, you first you start down on rich and stuff, and then you turn it to lean. You lean it off. This is a slow needle valve. So here's the, um, let's see, it's right there. The uh, slow intake is right there. Right there, slow screws. And then up above me, here's the throttle. You can see the throttle going back and forth. And the spark plug. This is John's name, S20, I mentioned to you. <laughs> and there are all of my tools in there. And my compression tester. You've seen this thing, it's a pretty cool compression tester. I, I mentioned this one to you before. So I got a new compression tester. Really cool. I love the compression tester. And close it. And here's my old one. It don't work anymore. It could be the diaphragm. And yeah, first motor. Um, uh, John's name was 20. I used to run. I was a, uh, 13 years old. My mom about 50 years old. But this was my first motor to run. So. Now I got this is a part I um have to put on the carburetor. Not on the carburetor, but it's on the air intake right there, it goes under there. Before I put the carburetor, I have to put down the carburetor first. And I got this all done. This is I have to put some clear cold on here and see the floats okay. Or I might use a, enough float for it is in here. That is in good shape anyways. That works. And I got a couple motorboats to work on. My Alto. My, I haven't moved my bike all the way. I show this motor. This motor is I can get out one hand. Oh, this one of the smallest motor bolts is called an Alto Cub. So this is a motor I'm working on. I have to charge up the the flywheel on it the make it on to get some spark out of it and get it running but dad it did run one time but i'm gonna just pause the camera oh, yeah. oh. What's enough of, oh. see, my tools I need. see I, this is must be a uh, new one nope brass one this is a new one right here old one i use some of those tools with some of the new ones i got i got a couple Gap testers I got last year. This must be a new one. And a whole bunch of them. Spark plug testers. So the tool, this is a flywheel plug kit. At the time where it is, what happened there? Well, it's right there. $85 on one of those things. And some of those spark plug tools. Oh, we're just hoping it's in there. Yeah, it's right there. And 
Some pulls, flywheel puller, spark plug, tools, spark plug. And some of the tools I need to take off the flywheels, bolts, and gap testers. I got different kinds of them. And fewer gauges. I went up to the hardware store one time, an auto store, and some, I think it was some guy who didn't know what a fewer gauge and I go, fewer gauge? <laughs> Hope this is, he has a fewer gauge one and combination of gauges and some tools I need. Well, I'm coming out with new videos and stuff this summertime more because it's too cold right now. I got uh, some project on my lawn boy. I'm just waiting until it warms up a little bit. It's like it's too cold. It's weird weather this weekend. But it's cold in this garage and I'm just waiting anyways to do it. Like go bike riding and get some of my motor bolts out. Let's see, I'm not, how close I'm I think I'm okay. But now I want to get my cold ouch and it's time to get it out yeah I'm just waiting to work on some motors and stuff it's from 46 degrees outside it really even though I don't like the temperature outside I wish it's next Saturday be a little more better I'll make some videos one of those days, I'm just so busy right now, taking care of stuff. Switch the float around. This one was a good one right here. And old one. So I might fix this float, but this is a little better float anyways. So, where's that? I have all the piece, yep. So, we now I got the float in right now. I got it working better. See, it goes up and down, up and down. Got the float in, it works. Now I have to get some, finish the gas tank up, paint it. What the colors? <laughs> I gotta figure out. <laughs> Duh. Gotta figure out how much uh, adjustment on this carburetor, anyways. But it's pretty good. I'm going to the store. Yeah, I pull the car out, anyways. I'll show the motors and stuff. Here's uh, the Johnson tracker, my Abrams. It's pretty brand new, anyways. Yeah, it's 20 years old, but it's so good shape. I have to get that running. But this is a this motor right here is a Johnson 200. It's a little dirty. I'll clean it up and stuff. But there's a this is the water the water inlet right there. Water inlet and the pillars. I have to clean it up. Here's the one I rebuilt a couple years ago. The time I rebuilt my lawn boy. Got it. I rebuild the engine. Really got good compression. Here's my Altos, two Alto right there. My Johnson from my uncle. And trying to get those going. But I put a decal, get this one running again, clean this one up. Uh oh, something caught. No, uh, okay, I got that. This is the van system, it's like a Model T4. This is a slow choke down here. And this one's a primer, it's no gas in this one. Choke, slow, fast, choke. This is just a single, this one is a bolt under the carburetor. It's like it's a fast needle valve is. So on the Johnson right here, on this Johnson, Way it starts and stuff. Okay, you put on the start. So the carburetor is right here. You turn it to to rich. Then when you get it going, you turn it to lean. You lean it off. So I don't know if it's something to turn, but it's pretty good.